The Australian Army has taken a major step forward in modernizing its land combat capabilities with the selection of electro-optic systems or 400 remote weapon station for integration on the AS-21 Redback Infantry Fighting Vehicle. This decision, announced in Canberra as part of the Land 400 Phase 3 program, represents both a technological and industrial milestone. It strengthens Australia's defence self-reliance while enhancing the lethality and survivability of its new generation of armoured vehicles. The addition of the R-400 marks a critical upgrade to the Redback's already formidable arsenal, providing unmatched flexibility in close combat and anti-drone operations. The Land 400 Phase 3 initiative seeks to replace the Australian Army's long-serving M113 AS4 armoured personnel carriers with a fleet of 129 advanced infantry fighting vehicles capable of meeting the demands of future warfare. After years of trials and evaluations, Hanwha Defence's AS21 Redback was chosen over rival platforms for its mobility, protection, and advanced electronic systems. Now, with the integration of the EOS R-400, the Redback will gain an additional layer of precision firepower, designed to engage both ground and aerial threats at short and medium ranges. Deliveries are expected to begin in 2027, with local manufacturing playing a central role in both production and sustainment. Electro-Optic Systems, an Australian company with decades of experience in precision targeting and stabilization technologies, has built a strong reputation for its family of remote weapon stations. The R-400 stands out for its unique balance of weight, accuracy, and versatility. Weighing less than 400 kilograms, the system can mount a wide variety of weapons, including 7.62 mm and 12.7 mm machine guns, 40 mm automatic grenade launchers, and even a 30 by 113 mm M230 LF chain gun. Its design allows for dual weapon configurations, offering commanders the ability to tailor armament to mission needs. The R-400's advanced optics, digital fire control, and multi-axis stabilization enable accurate firing while on the move, even against fast-moving or low-profile targets. The Redback is already one of the most heavily armed infantry fighting vehicles in its class. Its turret mounts a 30mm Bushmaster MK-44S cannon, a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun, and twin spike LR-2 anti-tank guided missiles, complemented by an advanced active protection system. Yet the addition of a remote weapon station may seem surprising at first glance. In reality, it is a strategic enhancement aimed at increasing flexibility and coverage. The R-400 serves as a defensive, guardian gun, covering blind spots, reacting instantly to close-range threats, and freeing the main cannon for long-range or heavily armored targets. It provides overlapping fields of fire and rapid engagement capability, particularly against small drones, infantry teams, or light vehicles that might appear suddenly at short distances. Modern battlefields increasingly demand distributed, multi-layered firepower. The R-400 meets that demand by offering responsive, independent fire control that allows operators to engage targets without exposing themselves to danger. Integrated with the Redback's digital architecture, it benefits from shared sensor data, advanced stabilization, and no-fire zone programming to ensure safety and coordination between weapon systems. The result is a vehicle capable of engaging multiple targets simultaneously with minimal delay, improving the unit's overall combat efficiency. Beyond its tactical benefits, the R-400's inclusion reflects Australia's emphasis on defense industrial sovereignty. Under the terms of the contract, EOS will produce the R-400 entirely within Australia, drawing on a supply chain of more than 100 local companies. Manufacturing will take place in Canberra, while Hanwha's facilities in Victoria will assemble the Redback vehicles. This approach reduces dependence on foreign suppliers, strengthens the domestic industrial base, and creates skilled jobs across the country. It also ensures that sustainment, upgrades, and future adaptations of both the vehicle and weapon system can be carried out locally, without relying on overseas logistics chains. 
Australia's Defence Strategic Review has emphasised the need for both long-range strike and resilient land capabilities. While much recent focus has been on maritime and missile systems, the Redback program demonstrates that land power remains essential in the Indo-Pacific context. The addition of the R-400 complements this strategy perfectly, it's a technology that enhances lethality and survivability without increasing vehicle weight or crew workload. In an era where speed of engagement and protection from drones are vital, having an autonomous, stabilized weapon system that can operate day and night under armor makes a tangible difference on the battlefield. The R-400's operational flexibility is one of its most valuable features. In remote or harsh environments, such as those commonly encountered during Australian deployments, vehicles often must operate independently for extended periods. The system's modularity allows commanders to configure it according to mission requirements. A lighter 12.7mm setup might be chosen for reconnaissance and patrol missions, while the 30 by 113 mm M230 LF version provides the punch needed to counter light armored threats or engage aerial targets. The system's high level of stabilization and integrated video tracking enable accurate engagement even when the vehicle is moving over rough terrain or when the target is fleeting and hard to acquire. Another advantage of the R-400 is its proven ability to act as a counter-drone platform. The proliferation of small, inexpensive unmanned aerial systems has transformed modern combat, making close-range air defense a critical capability even for ground vehicles. The R-400's high elevation angles, precision optics, and compatibility with airburst munitions give it the ability to intercept drones within a 2-kilometer radius, an increasingly essential function for mechanized units operating in contested airspace. Its quick response time and automated tracking further reduce the window of vulnerability during enemy drone attacks or ambushes. From an industrial and strategic standpoint, the partnership between EOS and Hanwha represents a strong model for international collaboration balanced with national autonomy. Hanwha brings global experience in armored vehicle design, while EOS contributes homegrown expertise in advanced targeting systems. Together, they ensure that the Redback program not only meets military requirements but also fosters Australia's technological independence. By producing the R-400 domestically, EOS ensures that critical intellectual property and manufacturing knowledge remain within the country, aligning with Canberra's long-term defense strategy. The Redback itself embodies the evolution of infantry fighting vehicle design, a blend of heavy protection, digital networking, and adaptive lethality. With its advanced sensors, active protection system, and open electronics suite, it is built to operate effectively in both traditional combat and hybrid warfare environments. The integration of the R-400 enhances this ecosystem by adding an independently operated weapon layer capable of continuous surveillance and engagement. This means the vehicle can simultaneously support infantry, defend itself from air and ground threats, and contribute to the broader situational awareness of the formation. Ultimately, the decision to equip the Redback with the EOS R-400 does more than increase firepower, it changes the way the Australian Army will fight. It gives commanders and crews new tactical options, allowing them to respond faster, stay protected longer, and maintain dominance in complex terrain. In the process, it reinforces Australia's commitment to building a defence force that is technologically advanced, locally sustained, and capable of operating independently in the Indo-Pacific region. The Redback, R-400 combination represents a clear statement of intent, Australia is investing not only in modern equipment but in sovereign capability. The program supports local innovation, strengthens industrial resilience, and ensures that the Army's next generation of fighting vehicles will remain relevant and adaptable for decades to come. As production approaches and integration begins, the partnership between Hanwha and EOS stands as a testament to the future of Australian defence, one defined by precision, protection, and national pride.